Hey, I hope you're having a great day. Um, something that I've developed the ability to do really well, I think, over the last seven, eight, nine years has been to very quickly admit when I don't know something and then immediately to not have an opinion on that and then research the heck out of it and figure out what exactly is going on or figure out what, what's the knowledge, what's the information. So something happened today that is sort of proof of that. And um, just a quick backtrack. So about a month ago, I was contacted by Discovery Channel and they were possibly interested in doing a story on me for Daily Planet. Daily Planet is a TV show and it's very science heavy, science focused. And so their um, interest in following my Guinness World Records on ice attempts was all about the science of throwing frisbees, the wind, the weather, skating on the ice, the cold, everything like that. Which to me was really fascinating. As a frisbee player, you think about a lot of those elements already, but sometimes we don't really quantify them or we don't really understand exactly what they mean. And so I really wanted to understand better um, all the elements of what I was doing. And one of the areas that I wasn't really sure about, and the main reason for not being sure about was um, some conflicting, um, conflicting things going on. So skating, um, Jill has hockey skates and Jenny has figure skates. And so based on my experience, you know, I used to be a figure skater. I got into hockey when I was in grade 12, I actually <laughs> raced uh, a national level figure skater. He was in high figure skates, I was in hockey skates. I beat him to the other end of the ice. And so in my mind, I always thought figure sk or hockey skates were faster. Um, but I didn't really have any data to back that up. So I wrote a blog post a couple weeks ago, you know, hockey skates versus figure skates. And I did, you know, as much research as I could on the internet. I found some YouTube videos talking about different blades and how they, how you could sharpen them and things like that, but didn't really go into too much detail. Partly because the people doing the videos weren't the experts in the field. And so I ended up reaching out to somebody in Calgary that I've heard of over the last six years. And his name is Ian Smith, and he is at the Human Performance Lab at the University of Calgary. So I thought this would be something very cool. Maybe they've done something like this. Maybe he knows where the research is. So I sent him an email, just kind of quickly explained what I was doing, that it was going to be on Discovery Channel. I really want to know the science part, because if I'm talking on camera about the different elements of my records, I, I really want to understand the different elements, instead of just saying, oh, I think it's this. Um, and you know, research is not really that tough to do. Sometimes finding the right research is, is more difficult. And so luckily Ian wrote me back and said, you know, it's not my area of expertise, but you should reach out to this person and gave me an email address. So her name is Kelly Lockwood. I ended up emailing her today and she wrote back right away. And that was the beginning of a flurry of emails over the next four hours where we were talking about all elements. I explained to her the event. Um, <clears throat> she has a ton of experience in this. Um, she's actually advises NHL hockey players on how they should sharpen their skates for maximum performance. She's also been funded through Sport Canada and she's been at the Olympics. She uh, did some work for Graf Skates, which is now in, out of business unfortunately, but they're the skates that I have. And so she's, she's very knowledgeable. You could say she's potentially the, the most knowledgeable person in the world on this subject. And so for me to have direct access to her that quickly was incredible. Um, you know, the event is a week away, and so I really wanted to make sure that I had the knowledge going into the interviews with Discovery Channel, and talking to Kelly was a huge step in that direction. So Kelly explained things to me about the contouring of the blade, and so it's all about how much, um, how much of the blade is actually in contact with the ice. The more you have in contact with the ice, the more you can glide, the more power you get when you push, and the faster you can go. And then the hollow refers to, so the hockey blade is you know, like that, it's kind of, it's pretty wide actually compared to like a speed skate. And there's actually a hollow that goes up in it. Um, and so if you think of like an upside down U, for example, where each tip of the U is the blade on the ice, that's the hollow. So the more the hollow, the more grip you have, let me call it bite. So hockey skates have bite on the ice. Um, and the less the hollow, the less bite you have, okay, but the less friction you have as well. And so um, she was explaining that to me, it made a lot of sense, and just, you know, I've been playing hockey and figure skating my whole life, and no one really ever told me anything about that, I never really knew what I was doing, I just brought my skates in, they'd sharpen them. Um, 
And even the last two times I did this, these record attempts, I would just take them and tell them what I needed, and then they would go and do that. And I remember them saying like three quarter inch. They didn't say hollow, but three quarter inch radius or it wouldn't be radius. Yeah, like something like that. Um, don't even know exactly what they were saying because I don't. I didn't really know about it. And so today I learned an incredible amount. Um, I'm actually gonna have a phone call with Kelly in a couple days, and we're gonna go over a few more things. But I told her. You know, my weight, um, my skills in skating, what I'm looking for, and she gave me recommendations. So I'm going to go in tomorrow, get my skate sharpened based on the numbers that she gave me. But it's pretty cool. You know, if you're curious about something, reach out. You never know who you can get in contact with. Um, so for me to be able to talk to her was, wow, it's very humbling. Um, she put me in my place right away and said, because I sent her the blog post, and she kind of said, you know, you have some misconceptions here, because I didn't really know. But what was funny is I included a video in my article, and she thought that was me doing the interview behind the camera. And I said, no, no, that's not me at all. And so immediately she's like, okay, well, these people don't know what they're talking about. What they're saying is actually contradicting what's happening, which happens a lot in sports. What we think we're doing is actually not what's happening at all. And so it's really tough sometimes for people to be playing a sport and try and teach the sport because what they're showing you is not actually is what's happening. Um, so luckily, I'm able to have that um, guidance from Kelly, who is going to help me have my skates tuned to be the best performing skates I can for my record next weekend. Um, so thank you, Kelly, for the opportunity and for taking time to give me that advice. It's, it's incredible. Um, but just some advice for anybody out there. If you are curious about something and you don't really know much about it, Sometimes Googling doesn't really answer it. You know, you have to go to the source, you have to talk to somebody. Like she said, she's written a lot of papers on the subject, but she's never really made a video. And so there's no way I could have found out, you know, her, her knowledge and everything that she's contributed unless I was on a peer-reviewed science, you know, website and I was looking at these papers, which would just be a huge rabbit hole. It could have taken me 20 hours to figure out. So luckily, you, you know, I talked to somebody who knew somebody and then we went from there. But... Anyway, I'm just finishing up at the gym here, so just, uh, it's very cold out again. I'm hopefully going to get on the ice in the next couple days, and then straight through, just, well, I'm going to have to learn the new, the new blades. I don't know how much they're going to change over what I currently have. I don't even know what I have right now, but um, they're, they're not very fast. I know that. There's, I'm not very happy with the performance of them. So, really excited to get these blades tuned based on her recommendations and get training with them. Um, yeah, just Matt uh, Mayfield World Health. It's very quiet in here. It's nice. It's not often you're in a studio and there's nobody here. Um, but I hope everyone's having a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.